Hi, I'm Dale Lazarovich from North Caldwell. I met you at a town hall meeting in Caldwell a couple years ago. We discussed college oh. tuition in New Jersey. Yep. So, um, keep going. Okay. That's how I'm here. First of all, I do love you. Thank you. I'm one of your biggest fans. I love you back. From Columbia High School. All right. Rah, rah. Rah, rah. Okay, so this is a parent to parent. Okay. Last year, two of my children were diagnosed with Crohn's disease. We have, they're, now they're healthy. We've opted not to take the traditional medicine route because it's horrible. I'm begging you to think and reconsider medical marijuana. I, reconsider it in what way? Well, that we went, we tried to go the traditional way. We have not, not done anything yet. But because they're under 18, we had to go to three doctors and go to a psychiatrist and put on a waiting list. And you know what, by the time we got through with that everything, it was going to cost us an absolute fortune. We then thought possibly to go to Colorado. The funny thing is, you can't bring it back without being arrested in North Airport. So, I'm asking, I know that it's, it's up for conversation. It's not to be used recreationally. It's grown without THC. It would help my kids. Yeah, listen, first off, as you know, the only way to really keep this a medically-based program is to make sure we involve physicians. And not to just have one physician, because unfortunately, you know, one physician, um, as we've seen in some other instances, whether it's concerning medical marijuana in other states, or whether it's concerning um, prescription painkillers, we have a real problem in the state, in this country, of physicians prescribing these things when they're not really necessary. So the idea between the idea behind having a confirming physician on it is to make sure that we don't create these mills in the state where people just go and the doctor winks and nods and looks the other way because he or she is making money and gives it to people who are not using it for medical purposes but are using it in fact for recreational purposes. So the idea behind the way we structured the program is to make it truly medical. Now part of the problem with folks underneath the age of 18 has been that we didn't up until this past summer permit an edible form of marijuana to be used. I negotiated with the legislature last year. We've now permitted, starting last summer, an edible form of this. Now, part of the problem is that the folks who run these clinics in the state um, are only going to produce those things where they think they can make money. And so the demand overall for medical marijuana in the state has not been nearly as large as people thought it was going to be, and for the edibles, even less. So the question is going to become, what do we do now for the small group in the population who actually needs this? That's why I suggested in the beginning that we make it a hospital-based program so that we take kind of the, the profit motive out of it. Um, that was not something that was acceptable um, to the state legislature. So we'll continue to talk about it. But here's what I'll tell you what I won't do. Because there's bills in the legislature now to legalize marijuana entirely to legalize it for recreational use. I don't know what the difference is between legalizing it and legalizing it for recreational use, but there's differences, apparently. And people who want to decriminalize marijuana. I'm not gonna do that on my watch, just not. I don't think it's the right thing to do for our state. If you see what's going on in Colorado and California, you have people that are flying in to Stapleton Airport in Denver, driving into the city of Denver, and coming there with um, health problems. And they go to see a physician before, under the medical program, and got prescriptions. Now, the recreation use is available. People are just going into Denver just to get high. Um, they're, they're already a mile high. I don't know exactly why they need to get higher, but apparently they do. And so, I'm not gonna turn New Jersey into that. So what we'll continue to do, and, and I had a question about this at my last town hall meeting, we're gonna continue to work with parents to see ways that we can make sure that we appropriately, in a medically-based program, deal with minors. And I think that the problem that we're having now is that there's just not enough demand for it, so they're not producing it, so it's making it harder and harder for you to get the, get the product, because that's what you're on the waiting list for, is to get the product. And I don't know if what we're gonna have to do ultimately is force these folks as, as part of their license to produce this, even though they won't make a profit off of it, but that's all stuff that we can have conversations with the legislature about as we move forward. But what I'm not gonna do is in reaction to that, broaden the program so greatly, that we wind up having a recreational use program in the state. I don't think it's good for our families. I don't think it's good for our state. And I have some people who are saying that you should do it just to tax it and make money. You know, I don't think that's where we need to go as a society. Um, and, and it's not something that I'm gonna do. I've been pretty clear about this when I ran in 09 and when I ran again in 13, 
that if we're gonna have a medical marijuana program in the state, that it's gonna be very narrow and medically based. But I showed last summer that I was willing to change and tweak it if people came to me with evidence that a certain part of the population was being unserved or underserved. So we'll continue to work with folks like you. Um, Nick will give you his card, send your information so we can have a member of my policy staff call you and talk about your particular issue and see if we can fix it through the administration. If we can't, then it'll be part of our overall discussions as we're discussing this issue again with the legislature going forward. But I want to be clear with everybody. Um, I'm not, as long as I'm governor, going to permit decriminalization or recreational use of marijuana in our state. I don't think it's appropriate, um, and, and I won't do it. And if you want someone to do it, you're going to have to elect a different governor because I'm not going to. But thank you for raising the issue. I appreciate it. Right. Yeah, listen, and, and, and my point to you is that I don't think it's the parents who are advocating for legalization. Um, what happens is people who want legalization for other reasons use cases like yours as an excuse to advocate for legalization. Not the particular parents, but others who are just advocates for legalization use this as an example for why we should just legalize it so we don't have to worry about it. So these parents can have access to it. And they're not really advocating for you, they're advocating for themselves. But they use you guys as a front. So I, I've spoken to enough parents who are in a situation similar to yours with different diseases as well, that I know that there's, this is an issue we gotta try to figure out. But I wanna make sure I figure it out in a way where it's narrow and we do it the right way and we don't hurt other folks. Thank you.